Hello, all of you wonderful creative people here on YouTube. My name is Rio, and I welcome you to my Arctic Corner. Today we're gonna have a special video. <laughs> a very, very fruitful coloring book haul. Let's get into it, shall we? Okay, so before I start, I have a bit of an explanation to do, I suppose. <laughs> I know that one of my last year's resolutions was try to buy less and use more of what I have. And seeing this huge pile of books that I'm about to show you now that I got during fall and December last year, I think I broke this <laughs> resolution twice over, if not three times over. Uh, and it's not only about coloring books. I, when our apartment renovation was over and I was trying to organize my stuff in my new room, I realized that I have a huge pile of coloring supplies that I got during that time also. And when I saw the sheer amount of supplies that I bought, honestly, it scared me. And I realized that something must have been wrong with my brain that during that time. I don't know. I'm just weird like that. I suppose I know I'm not the only one, you know, whenever people, especially people like me that tend to suffer from panic attacks and anxiety in general, we find stress relief in shopping and i've noticed that with myself as well and i know that's a really bad thing i mean i do not need any more coloring supplies i do not need any more books especially after all that advent calendar bonanza that we had last year i think i have everything i need i mean i'm not saying that i did not want the stuff that i got but did i need it <laughs> really that's the case. Back in the fall, I really didn't have a lot of time to color. So instead of that, I went shopping crazy. Let's start with the coloring books that I got during that time. And I'm also going to show you a couple of books that I missed on my last haul. I almost accidentally found in one of our bookstores when we were walking, you know, window shopping with my friend. Uh, these are Lithuanian editions. So the first one is called Calming Nature. Uh, you know, typical Shutterstock, but the quality is really nice. Lots of nature pictures of animals, flowers. They look pretty simple, you know. Not the kind of stuff I typically color, but you know, it's a Lithuanian book. And these ones are Mindful Mandalas, again. Same series. Very simple illustrations. So I snacked them both. They were pretty cheap. Now, off to the new books I got. So the first one of them I'm going to show you is not quite coloring related. It's more like a journaling thing. Uh, I want to decorate my coloring journal and my bullet journal, you know, with more stickers and more kind of imagery. So this is the Ephemera sticker book with 580 vintage looking stickers. So it's a very beautiful addition to a heap of stickers that I got from Timo and AliExpress and I'm going to show you on one of my next hauls. So, very nice looking stickers. I hope I will find a neat way to use them in my journaling. I don't do a lot of journaling, but you know, I want my journal pages to look nicer. <laughs> Yet another book that I surprisingly found in one of our bookstores is this um, Dragon Mandala book. <laughs> Again, it's Shutterstock, but the paper is awesome. I mean, how come they're releasing the Shutterstock books on such a cool paper? Uh, 
I don't know. To what do these books owe your honor? Well, it's dragon imagery, basically. I couldn't call those mandalas, but anyway, you know, this is lovely. Again, I'm not gonna color it all, I think. But there are a few images that I really like in here. Yeah. Get out of here. And then I'm definitely going to color all oh, most of them actually. Now that I look at it. This one especially. This is the first one I'm going to tackle. I mean it's the year of the dragon, so it's a must. Oh that's that one. Now we're off to some coloring books I found in our grocery stores. In November, I went to Little together with my friends and they spotted these books in the store. And of course, they caught my eye as well. First one of the, these are the coloring books by Crelando. Little tends to sell a lot of stuff by this brand. So, I could do a Crelando coloring supply test on my channel as well. So, ah, it's called Patterns, by the way, as you can tell from the illustrations. A lot of Shutterstock pa uh, patterns. Um, quite nice looking paper. Not all of them are exactly my style, but I bet once colored, they're going to look ugly. We shall see. And the other one is a fantasy journey. Again, same thing, same paper, Shutterstock images. And sadly, I think this book is starting to fall apart. Yeah, they're glue bound and <laughs> you know, you can feel the consequences already as you can tell. Nice image by the way. So I'm going to have to be very careful with this one. I bet that the first one is going to eventually meet the same fate anyway. So, as you probably already know, Jade Summer has released a few new books recently, one of them being Vampire Romance. And the demo illustrations that they showed on Amazon really caught my eye. And what is interesting about this book is that it's actually a story that's illustrated from beginning to the end. I'm not going to spoil it all. Well, as the title says, it's about vampires and it's a romance story. So, there are some colored images in the bag. A really interesting concept. I'm really interested to see if they're going to do anything more similar to that. Next on the line is Cuties and Beasties by Camilla D'Erico. <laughs> I know that recently she had released a compilation book as well, but since I already have two of her books, it didn't quite make sense for me to get a compilation one. I mean, I got this one instead. These are new images, they're not included in a compilation book. <laughs> Look at these! Look at these pages, they're so cute! I think this one and her mythical creatures one are my favorite books of the card to Cerberus Dog, which is ridiculous. So cute. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I love these. Very nice. Now, last but not least, uh, I have three more books to show you, and these come from Etsy. Yeah, for quite a while I've been having difficulties with shopping on Etsy. For some reason, uh, the couriers just did not want to ship stuff to my country. I don't know why! Don't ask me! Uh, anyway, but uh, apparently the shops I bought these coloring books from do not tend to have such problems. So I managed to get three of the books I really, really, really wanted to get for quite a while. First of them being the 
Girls Around the World one is the Korean coloring book. A short story before we continue. Uh, I saw this book at first uh, on Book Depository. It was recommended to me by the site, but I did not pay attention to it for some reason. I don't know, it just didn't catch my eye. Well, it was right before Book Depository actually closed. So sometime later, I saw it on someone's channel here on YouTube. And when I saw the illustrations inside, trust me, I was cursing myself for missing such an opportunity to get this book because now it's a lot more difficult than it was before. I only managed to get it on Etsy. Here is the ISBN, if you are interested. I will also link the shop that I got from below because we have a lot of cool Korean coloring books. So basically what this book is, is a collection of illustrations of girls wearing different native costumes. And this is the kind of theme that draws my attention, as you know. Like, it's a cultural themed book. It's really interesting to see what kind of clothes people are wearing all around the world. So here at the beginning of the book we have these colored examples. You know, for inspiration. And they're followed by actual illustrations. You have the whole full body image on the left and a portrait, a close-up on the right. <laughs> That's basically the whole concept of the book. But the artwork is amazing. This is Japan, I believe. Yeah. And once these are colored, they look amazing. I saw people color in this book in uh, lots of different ways. I still need to find my own. This is the cover image, I believe. Yeah, it's that one. And as always, oh, they also included this postcard. Uh, I really don't know what book these are from, but a very nice addition. I'm not complaining. Very nice paper, as it usually is with Korean books. There you go. Yeah, amazing book. I'm really, really happy I snagged it. And the last purchase that I had in the last year, these are the coloring books by Sucklims. I had my eyes on these books since back in, excuse me, as we go, back in uh, 2020. But you know, shopping on Etsy is really expensive. <laughs> if you did that, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but on Black Friday this year, she had a very huge discount on her books. So I basically got this for half a price. <laughs> I couldn't pass this up. So, as you can tell, she included a postcard. Or is it, no, it's a print of one of her illustrations. So I think it's in the next book as well. Beautiful art. We also have her business card here. These are, eh, it's the contact info, her social media. info if you're interested. I mean, I doubt there's anyone in the coloring community that hadn't heard about succulents before. Uh, so what she does, she prints out her books either on marker paper or on watercolor paper. So I got one of each. So first one being the fantasy characters coloring books and this one I have printed on watercolor paper and it's really nice paper very thick it feels cold pressed but it's not too textured i mean the outlines are very 
bright, very dark. And for someone like me who has vision issues, it's perfect. Her art is amazing. I love it. And here we have fairies, mermaids, and princesses, and flower girls, and whatnot. And this is what this one's lovely. Ah! This is really one of the, uh, you know, creme de la creme from my collection, for sure. So these are the fantasy characters, and her other book, I asked to be printed on marker paper. And this is the dark fantasy one. Because believe it or not, I really want to learn how to color with alcohol markers, like properly. Shading and all. Very thick cardstock. It reminds me of the paper from Sarah Richter's books or Coloria books or Color It books. This illustration looks a bit weird. I don't know. Something is off with this face. But yeah. Mm, yum. Beautiful images. Well, I can start training with images like these. There are a couple of those in this book. Oh, so beautiful. Wow. Mm. Absolutely gorgeous. I think this book is a bit more detailed. Ooh. Nice. Then the last one. Yeah, that's the cover image. Very beautiful mermaid. Maybe I should try and color that one for mermaid. Well, and that's that. Believe it or not, I'm finally done. So those are the books I got during the months of fall and the month of December. So yeah, new year, new start. Hopefully, honestly, with buying less and using more of what I have. Because like I said, these aren't the only books that I got during that time. I have another stack of books uh, that I've purchased. Anyway, they deserve their own separate video, basically. <laughs> and I'm going to turn it into a coloring book haul slash uh, one of the episodes for my coloring book collection videos uh, because it's like a separate uh, section of my coloring book collection overall. Anyway, you'll see what I'm talking about once I get to it. So, I think I've rambled enough. I'm really still ashamed. My, my cheeks are burning from shame. I really, really broke my most important resolution. Like I said, if not twice, then three or four times over. It was really getting out of hand and once I'm done with my whole videos overall, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, anyway, enough with rambling. Uh, as you can tell, I haven't been filming for quite a while, so I'm a bit rusty. Uh, I choke on my words quite often. I need to get back on track. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, welcome to my new subscribers. I hope you like it in here and you're here to say I welcome all of you with my arms wide open. So before I see you on one of my next videos, I hope you will stay creative, you'll stay artsy and have fun in every single step you take. Till next time then. Ah,